butterfly is going to come out of the pupa and open its wings. And we're all gonna be here to see it. Let's celebrate! Have a party! Papa pouty, papa pouty! kind of butterfly it's gonna be. Maybe it will be a morpho. Big and blue. Or maybe a swallowtail. Whatever kind of butterfly it is, I'm sure it will be beautiful. <coughs> huh? That's not a butterfly. Not even close. It's a beetle. Turns out our pupa is a green tiger beetle. Beetles have pupas? All insects do. Butterflies? Moths, flies, mosquitoes, and of course, beetles. I guess I just thought it was a butterfly because of all the other butterflies around here. Sorry. Don't be. We got to see a metamorphosis. And it was amazing. <laughs> Let's take our pupa party outside and let this little beetle go home. Go ahead, little beetle. Thanks for letting us see your pupil stage. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, of course the polo mobile will stop running. It will. And we'll be stranded here by the side of the road. Stranded away from the beach? No, 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 no! Marco, we are not going to run out of battery power. Warning. Battery power nearing zero. Almost there. I'm awake. I'm awake. Let's plug in. Quick. Come on, everybody. Run! Run. We did it! Oh, oh yeah. 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 yeah! Power back on. Battery charging. And all thanks to... The sun! So slap on some sunscreen and put on your shades. Here comes the sun, smiling at me. It gives me a charge of energy. It tickles my skin, helps flowers grow. It makes us feel happy, happy. Here comes the sun, the day has begun. Now that the Polomobile's recharging, shh, so is Willa. <laughs> Frogs are so cool. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Well, lion. Ooh. Tail? Oh. Whoa, wait. Oh. <laughs> Glow up. Yeah. Moco, lucky. Nash glows. Cool. And glows. And glows up. But Nash. That's not how you're growing. No, floggies. No, only some animals like frogs change form as they grow, but you won't. 
you'll stay the same as you grow. Just like these animals. You'll just get bigger. No wings. No wings, but a much bigger you. Eh, uh, just Nash? Yeah, always Nash, but bigger. Okay. <laughs> Like it. It would be nice to turn into a lion. Or to grow a tail. Or wings. Now that is cool. But Nash is going to stay Nash. And that's great. He's just going to get bigger. Yeah. Big Nash. See? Whoa. Whoa. It's a really big Nash. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! I'm okay. Backward sunglasses. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's backwards day. We're going backwards. We're doing things in reverse. We're going backwards. We're doing things in reverse. Can you skip? Can you walk? Can you do a somersault? Can you dump? Can you bend? Can you start at the end? Can you think of a word and say it out loud? Try to say it backwards. How does it sound? Backwards! We're doing things in reverse. We're going backwards. We're doing things in reverse. It's hard and it's silly and it's so much fun to go the opposite way. From here, the finish line, to over there, the starting line, backwards. Okay, ready, set, no! Backwards! Oh, right, okay. Go, Go set, set, ready! ready. That. I think they're grooming each other. It's how they keep themselves clean. And keep their coats in good shape. They're on the move! Hey, they found water! You know, these horses seem to be taking care of themselves. They have plenty of food and know where to find water. They groom each other and they take care of their young. Those are the things people do for domesticated animals. But these horses are doing it for themselves. I don't think they live on a farm. I think these horses are wild. I didn't think horses could be wild. I'm looking up step horses. Hey, look, here they are. Travolsky horses. These horses are wild. They've never been domesticated. Horsey! Get me up! <gasps> oh, Nash! Nash! No! Horsey! Get me up! Nash! Stop! <sighs> Nash, why were you chasing that horse? Horsey won one! Nash! Get me up! Win, Horsey! Huh? Uh, you want to ride the horse? Why does everybody understand Nash but me? Those horses are wild animals, Nash. And we never disturb animals in the wild. No giddy up. But that doesn't mean we can't run around ourselves. Yup, the step makes a perfect place to run wild. Whether you're a horse or a polo. Nay! Nay! Hey, Nash, horsey ride? <laughs> giddy up! <laughs> <laughs> I can't.
can't believe it's still morning. Yeah, we've had breakfast for breakfast, breakfast for lunch, breakfast for snack. It's been morning for the whole day. <laughs> and we still haven't surprised Willow. Surprise! <gasps> Autopilot on. Audrey, set course for Earth orbit. Autopilot on. Setting course for Earth orbit. So, how do you like my birthday so far? Isn't it the best birthday ever? It's the longest birthday ever. I know. You want to know why? Yes. yes! I'll show you. I'll be the sun and Marco, you be the Earth. Sure. Audrey, lower cabin lights. On the part of the Earth facing the sun, it's day. Yeah, and on the part of the Earth that's facing away from the sun, it's night. The Earth is always turning. Marco, turn slowly in a circle. It takes 24 hours for the Earth to rotate, to go from day to night back to day again. So we started one place where it was morning, the savanna, and kept flying in the same direction, towards morning in another place. Transforming to Polo Galactic. Polo Galactic entering Earth orbit. Ooh. Look, there's Earth. Day on one side, night on the other. Beautiful. My absolutely favorite, favorite place. I think this is the right time. Surprise! Surprise! Wow, Polos, thanks! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Willow. Willow! Willow, best birthday ever! Activate echolocation! Is that it? No, that's a crab. And that's a jellyfish. Hmm. Where are you? Hey guys, what's up? Chester took the polypod to rescue Nash's toy that went overboard. Maybe I can try asking the dolphins for help. Okay, so maybe the dolphins don't understand me yet. I'll keep trying. Wait, could it be? Target spotted. Look what I found. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great work, Chester. Thanks to echolocation. And to the dolphins for the idea. Yay, dolphins! Yay! Dolphins click and whistle and crack. Sending sounds to bounce the rain back. That's how they find stuff and their navigation. Swimming underwater using echolocation. Echo, echolocation, echo. Echolocation, echo. Echolocation, echo. Echolocation. It's some kind of fruit. I think that's a red bush apple. Was the unknown creature eating that? But I thought bats eat insects. Not fruit. Whoa! It looks like a fox. With wings. Bat wings. What is it? No idea. Okay, so it looks like a fox. It's fruit. Has fur, bat wings, and can fly. I think it's time for the polo pad. It's a bat. Seriously? It's a fruit bat. And it's called a flying fox. Look like a fox. I thought bats caught insects for food while they fly. Right. Most bats use echolocation to find their food. Bats make sounds, and the sound waves hit objects and bounce back to them. 
The bats hear it and use it to locate their prey while they fly. So bats can tell where things are, even when it's completely dark. So does a flying fox use echolocation? No, it doesn't. Its big eyes can see colors, and its nose can smell really well. So it just uses sight and smell to find food. No echolocation. This bat is super huge. The flying fox is a mega bat. Totally mega. Yes, some are so big that their wingspan, that's how far their wings stretch out, are as wide as a grown-up's outstretched arms. Mega! We solved the mystery of the unknown creature. It's a bat. A mega bat. Mega, mega, mega! <laughs> Lily, that way. That way? I'm on it. Chester, Chester! Come here! Huh? Chester, he's saying, come with me. The uh hat, -huh, the uh hat! -huh. Why can everyone understand Nash but me? I don't know. <laughs> And if we work together, we can keep our planet clean. But the very best way you can help is to pick up after yourself. Then let's go be a cleanup team. Everybody clean up, clean up. Everybody clean up, clean up. Get your mask on, get your clean on. Everybody clean. Ocean's a big place and there's still lots of it to clean up. But we did a great job here. Especially you, Nash. Yeah, we're really proud of you. And Nash, now I hope you understand the importance of cleaning up after yourself. place like this? Good question. Let's find out. Ospreys eat almost only live fish. So they must need to be near water. They like to nest in high places free from predators like raccoons. No raccoon is going to get all the way up there. The nest can be in a tall tree, but they'll use whatever they find. So people build these platforms for ospreys to come and use. And they like open areas so they can get to the nest easily. Maybe because their wings are so large, they need a lot of space. Ospreys use the same nest year after year. They keep adding to it so their nests can get big enough to fit a person. Now that is amazing. Baby ospreys? Let's see. Yep. Baby ospreys! We saw such amazing birds in their nests. One that likes to nest up high, the osprey. And one that likes to nest down low, the oyster catcher. I guess they both found the best place for their nests. Now if I could only find my sketch pad. I wish I could find my binoculars. Wow, wow, bottle. Wait a minute, Nash. I saw your water bottle in the lost and found. And I saw your sketch pad. Whoa. Nash and I saw your binoculars. Yep. They're all in the lost and found? The lost and found. In here. It's right here. We've been using different bins for the lost and found? Okay, I've got an idea. From now on, this is the Polo's official lost and found. Uh-huh. The best place. 